Good morning, everyone. So welcome to our Center of the Month of Perfect Attendance Assembly for December 2023. Our character trait for this month is actually kindness. Before we get started, we have a little bit of a, a different way that we're going to start this one. So, um, the New York State Department of Education actually sponsored an exhibition um, in recognition of the life and teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. So, students, fifth grade students were asked to write an essay ex uh, examining the ways in which they can celebrate Dr. King's birthday all year long. So, we have two fifth graders that actually were chosen to be a part of this exhibition. So, we're going to have them come up and uh, read their essays this morning to get us started. So, first, we are going to have... Ashley Martinez. Did you know that we can celebrate Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday all year long? Martin Luther King Jr. was a man who fought strongly against segregation and racism in our country. MLK gave speeches and organized peaceful protests he gained supporters and volunteers who helped him spread his messages of hope and healing to our divided country. Because he was outspoken about his beliefs, his life was always in danger. His house was bombed, he was arrested frequently, and he survived an assassination attempt. Unfortunately, he was ultimately assassinated at the age of 39. MLK often spoke at, his, at protests, sometimes without a written script. He did so during his famous I Have a Dream speech. One MLK quote that inspired me is, we may have all come on different ships, but we're on the same boat now. This quote means to me that even if we don't have the same skin color or don't speak the same language, we are all humans after all. We all deserve the same respect, dignity, and kindness, no matter if we are men or women, black or white, black or white Americans or foreigners. I can use the wisdom of this quote in my everyday life. Even though people speak different languages, come from different cultures, and even physically look different, we should treat people with the same respect. In my life, I try to speak kindly and respectfully to my classmates and teachers. I try to help my classmates whose first language is not English. I respect the customs of my classmates whose culture is different to mine. I think MLK will be very proud of the work that others are continuing in his name. His words are an example to us all, even today. We can celebrate the legacy he left behind by being living models of the wisdom he shared with all. We can celebrate his birthday by remembering his words and acting them. And our second student is Jeffrey Say. and using peaceful protests in order to end segregation. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the world's greatest civil rights leaders. He incurred many obstacles while trying to achieve equality for all. His house was bombed, his family was threatened, and he was arrested almost 30 times. Unfortunately, he was assassinated at the age of 39. As a time of MLK's legacy of quotes are checked and using my everyday life to celebrate him all year long. One quote that inspired me was, if you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving. I can use these words in my daily life by never giving up on your hopes and dreams. No matter how diff difficult it may be, you should always work hard and continue to move forward. Another quote that was inspirational is, the time is always right to do right. I can apply this to my everyday life by choosing to do the right thing even when it's difficult. This shows how inspiring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was. He overcame many obstacles to achieve his dream. By doing this, he united the whole world. But he himself was just one person, he made an impact on the world that made it much better. I feel that we can all continue his legacy and spread thoughtfulness, kindness, peace, and love in our celebrate his birthday every day all year long. Okay, so kindness. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So kindness means you're generous to other people. 
right? You're never too busy to help out and you enjoy doing good deeds for other people, even if those other people are doing something kind back or if they're unable to do something kind back. Demonstrating kindness helps you to have empathy, right? And empathy means that you have an understanding for how other people might be feeling. You have the ability to put yourself in the shoes of someone else to understand what they might be going through. Kindness also helps you develop sympathy, which is having uh, concern and care for others when they might be going through a really difficult time. Kindness and generosity is also linked to having more healthy and happy relationships with others, right? Because they make you feel good, and so you make them feel good. Demonstrating the character of strength of kindness helps you to care more for others because you find it really important to do so, right? So you're not make, uh, making kind choices because you feel like other people would like you to do that. You're doing it because it feels good to you. Kindness towards others also leads to more acts of kindness to those who have been helped. So if we think about our character trait, gratitude from last month, it's really similar in the way that that works. Right? So we talked about when you demonstrate gratitude, more people feel good, and then they uh, demonstrate gratitude towards others. And kindness works in the same exact way. So if you show kindness to others, they feel good, and they're going to spread more kindness throughout the world as well. So how do kind people behave? Kind people think about the needs and feelings of other people and then act to help those people. They think about how their words and actions can make others feel. And kind people are selfless. That's why a true act of kindness is done without expecting anything in return. That sounds a lot like another character trait that I know we've talked about in the past. I'm going to read that again. That's why a true act of kindness is done without expecting anything in return. Does anybody know what character trait we talked about a couple months ago? Integrity. Yeah, integrity, right? Integrity is doing is practicing kindness even if you're not going to get a reward for it, right? Or be recognized or acknowledged for it, right? It's just doing the right thing because you know it's the right thing to do. And an individual with... Can you go back one time? I, I didn't read the last sentence yet. An individual with perspective kindness helps others because they know that it's the right thing to do. So how do we show kindness? How do we show kindness? Beautiful. How else can we show kindness? How else can we show kindness? By helping somebody out of their need. Beautiful. Beautiful. If someone gets sad, just give them a present. <laughs> just give them a present, yeah. For right around the holiday time. One more. By saying thank you. Love it. Yeah, by showing gratitude. So we'll go ahead and get our awards started. So first we'll say uh, student of the month, and then the teachers will also call perfect attendance. If you're called for perfect attendance, just stand up in your space, okay? All right, so first we have Mr. Carter's class. Good morning, all of these students, faculty, and parents. Welcome. Uh, I chose uh, two students of the month for December. Uh, I've uh, recognized Dominic Lopez and Laura Khan. I said both are outstanding, outstanding members of our uh, our student body. I think they are great student ambassadors. They're actively engaged in their learning. Uh, they follow class rules, school rules. They're honest, trustworthy, and respectful. Um, I feel like um, I'm grateful for having such kind, hardworking students in my class. Thank you for being kind to others. Nora and John. Perfect attendance. If you would please stand. Imad Aljamal, as a mean basic. Michaela Caroli, Jose Espinosa, Ariana Furkic, uh, Isabella Tu, Dominic Lopez, Aran Mustafa Adil, Nora Palm, and Jeffrey Say. Good job. Okay. Congratulations. Next we have Mrs. McClendon class.
Good morning, everyone. For the month of December, we chose Hannah Leavich. Hannah, come on up. So this month for kindness, I just could not choose. So who better to know and choose who's kind in the class but my students. So an overwhelming number chose Hannah for this month. These are some things that Hannah's classmates say about her. Yeah. Hannah is very sweet and likes to help me whenever I need it. She's never rude. She never turns down an opportunity to help someone with her work. She is a great friend. She's smart. She's hardworking. I definitely agree with all of these things, and I'm so proud to have her in my class. Congratulations, Hannah. Stand when you hear your name. Aubrey, Sorbet, Erdi, Dalila, Dyla, Hannah, Mahmoud, Liberty, and Mela. Congratulations. Congratulations. And next we have Mrs. Will. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Um, as usual, I always have trouble choosing students of the month, so we have two again. Uh, our first student of the month is Raylan Besha. <laughs> Raylan is one of our students of the month for kindness because she does her best to always include others, as well as pitching in to help without even being asked. Her kindness inspires good behavior in others. Congratulations, Raylan. Our second student of the month is Aku Boo. Aku is also a student of the month for kindness because she's always eager to lend a hand to a friend, whether it's drawing beautiful artwork for her classmates or helping to solve a math problem. Aku is someone you can trust to be amazing. Congratulations, Aku. And our students who have had very good attendance are our fan, please stand, Raylan, Abu and Tawa, the Jello Twins, please stand, Akumu, Gavin Moore, Victoria Santiago, Anasik, and Lurkueva. Excellent job. And well done, you. Congratulations again. So parents, if you want to pop up and take a quick picture, you can feel free to do that. And also the pictures are going to be on the Utica City School District's Twitter and also their Facebook. And the video from today will be sent in Parent Square. Stand up when 
Brenner calling me Marie, Amani, Jayana, Eliza, Doris, Samir, uh, Caduce, Essie, and Min. You guys rock. Congratulations, and next we have Mrs. Shatler. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Parents and Families. Thanks for joining us today. The student of the month for our classroom this month is Mina Padula. When picking a student who exhibits kindness, Nina was the first that came to mind. She is selfless, caring, compassionate, and unconditionally kind to all. She has a very calm and gentle manner about her, and students are simply drawn to Nina. She's always making sure her classmates feel a part of whatever we are doing, and that they're enjoying themselves. Nina is also a steady and committed student, day in and day out. She works hard and is very motivated in school to do her best. I'm very lucky to have Nina as a part of our class, and I'm so very proud of you. Keep up the good work. For a perfect attendance, we have Mustafa Ajmahal, my guy Tula. Priscilla, Faris, Dominic, Nicole, Amu, and Taylor. Congratulations. All right, and next we have Miss Vos. To keep the suspense going, I didn't tell anyone who was getting what. So I'm wondering if my students have any guesses. We I picked two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> any guesses? No. All right, I have selected Connie Paw and Aiden Lopez. <laughs> them because they're focused students who love learning and helping their peers. They display humility in their interactions with adults and peers. Both students are respectful, polite, and give without expecting anything in return. Connie, Pa, and Aiden are very responsible for sixth graders and take their schoolwork very seriously, making sure it is all done and done correctly. It is a pleasure working with and teaching Connie, Pa, and Aiden and having them on our team. Perfect attendance, just stand in your spot. Symphony, DeVos, Muku 2, and Kane Ha. Congratulations to our sixth graders. Parents, if you want to come up and take a quick picture, feel free to do that. Congratulations again to all of our students of the month and also our students who have perfect attendance. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.